Hi all, thank you for tuning for the latest content. In order to check the financial status of a company, we need to set the company's data. So in this video, we're gonna discuss about how to set company data in Odo 16 accounting module. We can set multiple companies under an organization and Odo help you to switch between the companies without hesitation. So while setting up company data, you need to consider certain things like you need to give the name of the company, address, bank details, as well as tax ID, VAT registration number, and you also need to include many more details to set up the data. So once you give all these details, Odo help you to manage the finances more effectively. For example, you can create the invoices from your system directly and send them to the customers. Also, you can make reconciliation for these invoices as well as you can check all the transaction of the records under the charts of accounts. So let's check how to do this in Odo 16 accounting module. We can manage the company data. So in order to set up a company, you can just get into the general settings of Odo. And here we can see that companies and the default company is currently my company San Francisco. So the details will be available under the company section. And if you want to update uh, the info, you can click on update and we can see the name of the company as well as two tabs that is the general information and VAT unit. So under general information, we get all the address regarding the company like the address tax id company id the currency used phone mobile number email website parent company and company fivicon and if you want to give the logo for the company you can also upload the logo now let's back to the settings before that we have another field that is vat units and you can also include the details uh, of vat with the name and country so if you want to add the uh, vat unit you can click on add add a line to add the details now let's back to the settings now currently we can see that there are four companies in this database so here we can see the total number of companies that are available in this database so when you choose uh, the companies here we can see that the default company will be indicated in blue color and a database can handle multiple company so we know that an organization will have multiple companies so we need to uh, manage the multi companies to manage the multi data right so uh, if you want to create a new company either you can click on manage companies or under users and companies we have an option of companies and you can choose that option so let me click on companies so we can see all the companies av currently available in this database so let's create a new company so let the name of the company be ABC and Co. So let me give the uh, name of the company as okay. So the name is available. So let's change the name let the name be zab abc be the name of the company and here you can give the uh, details like the address and you can specify the country so once you choose the country Odo will automatically configure the currency that is used in the country so let's choose the country as France so here you can see that Odo has automatically configured the currency now you can give the tax ID as well as company ID phone number and other details email and uh, website parent company and company favicon so once you create a company odo will automatically configure that company to the database so currently you can see that the created company is available in the database and if you want to enable multi-company 
then you can uh, set multiple companies for a database so let me enable multiple companies now uh, when you go to the users in these settings you can see that there are two users uh, right now available so we have Michelle admin uh, as the admin for this and the allowed companies for Michelle admin uh, are shown here that is all the companies that are available for this database are allowed for Michelle admin so if you want to disable any of the companies from the allowed company you can just disallow that and uh, Michelle admin is the internal users and uh, we can see that uh, Michelle admin is a consolidation user so that he has the right to manipulate or make changes to the any of the data now when you back to the mark demo you can see that the allowed company is for mark demo uh, as that is the AE company ASO store my company Chicago and my company San Francisco so when you create a new company Odo will automatically set the allowed companies that is the created company will be setting for the consultation user but in case of other users other internal user and if you want to let uh, the uh, letting uh, to allow the user to use the created newly created company then you need to add that company over here then only you can uh, use that company or manage the data of that company okay so currently I have added a uh, Zap ABC company uh, under Markdemo. So when you uh, check the access right of uh, Markdemo here we can see that currently the access right is read only and uh, yeah. Now we can just go to the uh, modules like when you set up the company data uh, the admin can manage any of the modules data like there are different modules like sales purchase inventory accounting so when you enable multi data for an organization the admin could manage multi data of any of the modules so just get into the accounting module and currently we have the default company as my company san francisco now when you go to the configuration menu and choose charts of accounts here you can see that Currently, we have the charts of accounts of the company Azure Store and my company San Francisco. So, uh, now when you go to the um, list of companies, here we can say that, uh, see that we have also enabled Zab ABC as the uh, company to be integrated with my company San Francisco, but we cannot see the charts of accounts for Zab ABC. This is because we haven't set the physical localization for zab abc so what we have to do is just select zab abc as the default company so here we can see that now zab abc is the default company and when you go to the configuration settings here we can see the physical localization now uh, physical localization are used to set the taxes physical positions charts of accounts and legal statements for your country so you can set the package okay so currently we have only two packages available that is uh, configurable account chart template and uae charts of uh, charts of account so in order to install more package you can click on the packages and you can uh, search so let me search for france and you can activate uh, the chart template of france okay let's activate it okay now when you back to the accounting module and go to the configuration and uh, you can choose the settings so you can see uh, the packages brands and uh, let's save the changes Now just back to the 
charts of accounts and here we can see now the charts of charts of accounts of the company zap abc because we have set uh, the physical localization for the company so that currently the charts of accounts is visible okay now we can also manage the companies for products partners and we could get uh, reports of multiple uh, companies at a time so when you go to customers here you can choose a uh, customer or you can choose partner so currently we can see that there are different customers or we can create a new uh, customer or a partner so when you choose deco addict as a partner and under sales and purchase you can see a field called company and you can set company here so currently uh, i can set a company so let it be zap abc so i am letting uh, the co addict to be only available in zap abc so i need to um, i mean yeah unlink all other company so now you can save the changes so auto will automatically save the changes now when you back to my Let's go to the accounting module, and you can choose a customer. And under customer, you can see that we have set, uh, yeah, we have set the company as uh, Zab ABC for Deco Addict, so that Zab ABC is not available or cannot be a customer of my company San Francisco. Now, if I go to the company. zab abc and currently we can see deco addict is a customer of uh, uh, zab abc and i'm choosing multi company i'm letting to be multi company okay so letting to be multi company so when you choose the ae company as a default company now you can see that as we set multi company uh, for the customers we can see that the all the customers will be available in all the companies now we can also set multi companies for products uh, and let's check how does it work let's go to products and let me choose a product let it be bold and under bold general information you can see a field called company and before that let me uncheck all other company and you can see that i'm setting a uh, ae company as a default company that is the default company uh, for the product to be available so currently a the product bold will be only available for ae company now when you back to yeah it is currently available for zap too so let me save the changes again now let me choose any other company so let me choose uh my company chicago as a default company so you can see an access error here and when you go to the accounting module <clears throat> and choose product or you can choose any of the module to uh, check the product okay so here we can see that the product bold is currently not available for the product my company chicago because under the product uh, we can see a field called company and we have set a particular company so that the particular company only will get that product so uh, let's back to the ae company and let's make uh, available this product for other companies too so if you want to make available this product for multiple companies you can just enable multi companies here now let me choose my company chicago so these are the companies uh, that we are setting as multi companies and when you choose as as a stock here you can see bold is currently available for as a stock even if you have set a particular company uh, in the product form okay now we can also get multiple reports so when you go to the reports you can uh, check the balance sheet and when you try to get all these journals 
here you you can see that we have set the monthly company so you can set all the details of uh, azure store after that you can get uh, the deta reports of that is the balance sheet of ae company and uh, we have one more company right here no currently we have only set two companies uh, so you you will get uh, the details okay now let's back to the other uh, partner reports uh, not the partner report like you can check the profit and losses of the company so you can check uh, with the support of Azure store that is we can get when you set multiple companies you will get all the details uh, from the reporting uh, and all now let me go to the sales and purchase module so not only from the accounting module you can get the reports from any of the module so let me go to the sales module and under sales module Currently, we don't have any performance analysis of sales. Uh, so, yeah, can you choose uh, the purchase also? Currently, we don't have any quotations right now. So, we don't have any reports. Here, that is in the month uh, 2023. So, let me choose uh, the cash flow statements and here you can see that uh, the companies currently available or uh, that are integrated with the database or we set as the multi companies so we can see all the journals for the multi companies so when you change from multi company to a particular company uh, you can see the data that's available will be or the reports we will get only for the particular company so we will only get like uh, the details like bank and cash as a journal there won't be any specific uh heading like the company name or nothing so when you set multiple companies you can see the details uh will be changing like see you can see the journals with particular company Finally, setting up of company's data help you to get the correct picture of finances in your organization. So thank you for watching the video.